So it was a setup, is what you're saying. Get it? Hello, what's up, you guys? I'm Mr. Rapid Cane Mate, and today we're talking about my setup. My setup is designed specifically for my YouTube and my Twitch channel. I'm going to show you from my perspective, give you some tips and tricks to make your setup the best it can be. I only recently built my setup. It is brand new. We've been working on it for quite a while and it's finally done. Now let me start by saying I am nobody. I am a small, 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 eeny tiny weeny beeny eeny eeny seeny feeny weeny YouTuber and streamer. But I've learned some things making my setup and I'm going to pass on some tips and tricks for you. Number one, first and foremost, figure out who you are. Identity. It's that thing that makes people come back to see you. What is your style? Do you have a specific editing style? Do you have a specific way of speaking? And it is hard. Not everybody has a big personality and that's okay. YouTube is a great way to show off who you are. And people who like who you are will be attracted to see what you've got to put out. So it's time. I told you I'd be showing you my setup from my point of view. So to do that, we need to grab the camera. Okay, here we go. Hello, Mr. Happy k mate here. Nice to see you in person. I'm just going to flip you around so you can see what I see. Hello. Hey. So this is the camera I use. This is the Logitech Stream Cam. It's really good for my purposes. Is it the best quality picture? No, it's not. But it gets the job done. And it's a webcam. It connects via USB-C through the back to my PC. We might as well start there. Here's the PC. This is the power behind my setup. And this is my little receiver for my headset, which is just lying there because I was just using it. In the back there, you can see a mess of cables. I did have that all cable managed. But then I had to do something and it all just kind of is hanging at the moment. I don't really care. It doesn't mess with my mojo at all. Now, we got to address the elephant in the room. The lights, there are lights, lights for days. So there is my key light. It is a $10 lamp from Bunnings Warehouse here in Australia. And it is, these ones are currently running Wi-Fi controllable RGB LED bulbs, which sounds great. They are cheap versions though. So you can see these two red ones here and you might say, Mr. Abbott K mate, why do you have two red lamps right next to each other? Because they are so cheap and because they're on red, they're not giving much light. I really wanted that kind of red look on my stream on one side of my face. On the other side of my face, I wanted blue. So we got the blue lamp. When we talk about lighting, we can't ignore these two lights in the back. We've got, again, the same $10 lamps from Bunnings Warehouse, but these guys are running LifeX LED RGB bulbs. Now, these are bright as heck. Once I have a successful stream or YouTube channel going and have some income, I would love to upgrade these bulbs to the same because they are just, they're so good that I have to change my settings if I put them on my face. So I've got them in the back so you can actually see some color on the back wall. There's the fairy lights, the color changing fairy lights, they're Wi-Fi as well. Now you might have noticed this in the background, it does look like a curtain. It is a photography backdrop. Now I've got that up because, little known secret, I had my stream set up and I had the camera set up, but I, in the background you could see my microwave and my oven and everything, and I really want that in the background of every stream, so I've got this doohickey for a fair price on Kogan.com and it's working great for me. This is my bed. I sleep there. While we're up, we might as well check my chair out. This is an Onyx gaming chair. It does hold my weight, surprisingly. So to the right of my PC, we've got my rapid refrigerator and fan. And there's a little stool that I made out of a broken gaming chair. And actually, instead of a footrest, I use the top of that same gaming chair. <laughs> Save money if you can. Do it. Here is my keyboard. You can see it is an Alienware keyboard. It's also got next to it my mouse for gaming, which is a Logitech G502. I love it. 
Again, RGB. We got a lot of color going on. 32 inch 2K Philips main monitor, which I do all my gaming and main recording of things. And then on my smaller 27 inch, I have my editing suite, which is DaVinci Resolve. This little thing here, which is actually a laptop. It's a folding laptop that I use for when I'm streaming on Twitch, basically so I can read chat and see followers and all those good things. I have a, another Logitech little Bluetooth mouse and I have this Logitech keyboard. Next to my laptop, I've got my Xbox One X with two one terabyte hard drives and my 250 gig Samsung SSD. And my Xbox One Elite controller. This is the ver first version of the Elite controller. It's white, the battery's ruined. <laughs> it's grips are falling off, it's well used but it still works, so we still use it. For sound, we have underneath my pop shield, the Blue Yeti Nano USB mic. I love it. It's very good, it's definitely up my audio game. And attached to it is this pop filter, which doesn't have a brand as far as I'm aware. So there you go. You can just find it from any music shop. It's attached to this boom arm, I guess, which it clamps to my desk just like the dual monitor mount and that holds it up and it's repositionable and movable which is really great very versatile for my uses can't forget a water bottle one day we'll have merch and this will be a rapid water bottle <laughs> but not today it's rig 800 lx wireless headset great sound i like it above my monitors i have some things as my headset box you can kind of it light is there you go We've got some Harry Potter ones, We've got a Lion King water bottle from the film, then it topper to a, a cup <laughs> that I got from watching it, and you get a couple of cup toppers from Rise of Skywalker. And there you've got my Paco Raban 1 million, which is completely run out. Oh, and my Xbox One Elite controller box. Here's a picture. This is actually on cardboard. My dad made this for me in school and I keep it there in the background reminds me to not be so serious me no me here's my razor capture card I can't really remember what it's called so basically plugs into my xbox one x and allows me to stream or capture video from my xbox very very useful the wall of boxes these are all boxes from all the things I needed to create my setup and let's put you back right there. Now, do I need that many lights? No, but I have one a specific look for my channel that I think I need these lights to achieve. Speaking of, I've just changed the color settings on my camera because I realized I had them on the wrong settings. Now, because I've been recording this and editing at the same time, I can pick up on these things straight away and fix them. So my two different setups, because there are kind of two setups in one. I've got my YouTube and my Twitch setup. The YouTube is based on the PC, my two monitors, and this webcam. Again, using the two monitors together for recording and for editing reduces my workload by so much. You don't understand how important it is to me that I can edit these things quickly because I don't want to be spending hours editing every video if I don't have to. Then I have my Twitch setup, which is the laptop. We've got the Bluetooth mouse and the secondary keyboard from Logitech. And you've also got the Xbox, the Razer Capture, and obviously it works with the PC to create the effect that I'm going for. Now, these are all kind of jammed in one setup, but in a harmonious way. So there's not interference. Now, as for my tips and tricks, I definitely would suggest you get a PC if you are seriously thinking about YouTube or even Twitch streaming. Consoles are great, but they don't provide the options and customization that you really want from your stream or your YouTube videos. And even for Twitch, being able to see your chat and game at the same time is crucially important. A webcam is vital. You have to have a webcam. Any webcam will do. As long as they can see you, they can build a connection. Definitely for YouTube, you do want a higher quality camera. Now, I'm using a webcam because I can't afford to buy 
an expensive camera. But when I one day get to that point where I have, you know, built enough of a following and done enough work, and again, it's putting in that hard work, I'll upgrade my camera. But for now, you get this. And I also think 100% really invest in your look. Now, that doesn't mean go spend $100 million on making everything look pretty. A curtain, some fairy lights, a, a colored lamp, $10 lamp. These are things that you can do really cheaply that can really increase the vibrancy of your stream. For instance, if I turn off what I've got going in the background, you can see now how this is not very exciting. It's not very visually appealing. It's just a weirdly lit me, and this is just my key light, so I don't have the side lighting to kind of balance me out. But you can see it's not that exciting. Like, who is going to click on that video? Who's going to be excited to look at that video? It also reflects on you, like your personality. Like, is this my personality? No. I definitely think get two cheap lamps and put them to your left and to your right. That's all you need for lighting. But again, accent lighting is so fun and we need to turn it back on because I'm, I'm getting withdrawals from not having enough colored light on me. And we're back. Another thing about these colored bulbs, I really enjoy them because you can change the look of your stream or your video by changing the colors. And even these fairy lights, I can control them with Wi-Fi and I can make them do things like ah. I can make them do that. So definitely have a strong point of view. Really think about what you want to offer to your viewers. Right now, I just noticed I'm offering this power plug. There's so many options. Watch videos, read up, do your research. And again, that goes to everything. Research. I put a ton of research into every single thing in my setup so that I could get the desired effect that I was looking for. Look at reviews, look at specifications, look at everything you can to figure out what it is you're looking for and how it's going to work for you in your setup. So that is my setup. I like it. I hope you like it. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe. I have so many videos coming. I have a few videos up at the moment. Get excited. We've got a bunch of different content coming. I'm going to do deep dives on some of the technology I've got in my setup. I'm also going to do some reactions. I've got a really exciting reaction coming up this Wednesday. Get hyped for it. Get excited. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Rapid Kane, mate. And again, whenever we hit this time of the video, we check the time. Yep, it's time for a rapid retreat.